another day, another mall vlog. Today we are at the Culver City Westfield, Westfield Culver City, AKA Fox Hills Mall. If you guys like what you see in this video, you already know what to do. Hit the like button, share the video. Happy New Year to everybody watching. Hopefully you guys are having a great 2024 so far and I hope the rest of the year is great to you as well. So Foot Locker in this Culver City Mall definitely has some steals and deals that you would be interested in, but we're gonna get into that in the next video. Right now, let's go ahead and jump into Chic Shoes and see what they got in stock. So here at Chic, they do have some good Jordan retros here. Some of the things we have seen before. But one thing that we don't see at a lot of locations, I've only found these at the boutique out there in Drip LA. One of the hottest, rated, rated sneaker stores out there on Hollywood Boulevard. But they got them here at Chic. Still full retail. Definitely some good quality on these. Let me know what you guys think about these Jordan 1s. And did you guys pass on them because you didn't find them? Or do you guys think they're trash? Very good selection here of Jordans. Jordan Retros, Jordan Lows, Jordan Mids. Let's take a closer look and see what they got here. Top level. They got that new style of Jordan 1, which I thought was for women only, but maybe not. Let me know if you guys are Im impressed by that or is that a trash idea. Of course, they got more Jordan Mids and the Saturn 1 Breads that everybody has. Not still full retail. They got them here for 134 so they're on sale 134 as opposed to 180, which is smart. You know, most places aren't selling out of them at all. Jordan Lowe's and some Elevates. And then we got some Jordan 2s down here, along with the 12s and 11s, bro. You know, Neapolitans, still 225. What are these? Not sure what these are going for. So these are still full retail, but it's a very dope Jordan 12, women's exclusive. I'm a big fan of Jordan 12s fives on sale for 169 which is smart because nobody's buying these man i don't see anybody and any girls rocking those i feel like this is the best jordan too low of 2023 in my opinion they are on sale normally 149 down to 139 on these super solid jordan too low unc to chicago women's exclusive we found these at ross at once upon a time they got these here look at this 74 bucks can y'all see that 74 bucks 74.99 as opposed to 149 on the retail you gotta love that more jordan one mids and colorways that we have seen before a lot of them are marked down as well along with some of these comforts here too and then look at this we're getting more interesting with these gore-texes okay this is another comfort which i believe we've seen before but i feel like i haven't on sale normally 149 down to 110 dope to see that on sale best two gore-texes that have released Still full retail on these two Jordan 1 Gore-Texes. Best two colorways I've seen in 2023. I think there might be one or two other colorways that came out, but these by far to me are my favorite ones. Let me know what you guys think about that. Jordan Legacies, we got these Jordan 1 Lows, which remind me of those Jordan ones we just saw a second ago. Feels like it's the low top version, 125. I think that's discounted because I believe they're normally like 150. Two colorways of the Stadium 90s, the triple black, and then we got the blue one, white and blue in sale. Jordan MVPs, a lot of good colorways here. This one gives me fragment vibes, could be wrong, but that's just my opinion. 164 in the retail, so these are still full retail, 164. Got UNC vibes here, got uh, Raptor vibes, but this one here is definitely dope. Definitely one of the newer colorways of the 678, AKA MVP. That black, white, and red colorway with that beautiful outsole right there, you can't go wrong with these. Overall, give me your thoughts and opinions on the Jordan MVPs. Some people like them, some people hate them. I mention that every time I see them because I get different responses in the comment section. Which one of those do you like or do you hate them all? Some really good colorways are the Jordan Luca 2. Safari is probably my favorite of the ones that have released so far. Along with the Nebula, which is not here. Oh, and these are on sale here too. We saw these at JD Sports for, I think it was a 110. They got them here for 99 bucks, bro. 99 bucks that's actually a good steal and sometimes this location has extra discounts on top of discounts you know what i mean let me know what you guys think about the safaris this was the first colorway of the luca 2 and this is actually down to 79 bucks bro normally 130 down to 79 dollars you definitely can't go wrong with that i like that man so they got two of the dope colorways already marked down 
And then this is that black cement colorway too, which is, uh, I think still for retail, so there's no sales tag on it, which makes sense. One of the more recent colorways, but three solid colorways of the Jordan Luca 2. Can never go wrong with the Jordan 6 Gore-Texes, man. For the women, very dope colorway, maybe just bad timing. Still full retail. If they came out in men's sizes, I'm pretty sure some guys would scoop those up. One of the better colorways also on sale as well. What is this going on? 109? So 110 as opposed to 175 on these. Three dope colorways of the Kobe Adidas Crazy 8. This might have been the most recent or latest colorway to drop. Actually, no, this was part of that pack, that suede pack. Normally 160 down to 120 on these, so you got these marked down, which is dope. Dope to see that, of course. So we got the OG Crazy 8 on sale, black and white. Kobe actually wore these on the court, man. Not this shoe in particular in my hand, but this colorway, of course. Normally 140 down to 99 bucks. Seen these for 75 bucks at JD Sports recently. This is one of the more recent colorways. Still full retail at 160. White and black color combination on here. Can't go wrong with these crazy eights. This team orange colorway is marked down to 119 from the 160 original price point. Let me know what you guys think about these crazy eights for casual or for hooping. This is actually my first time seeing the Panda Dunk Mid in the leather quality. Usually we're having the canvas. Last time I seen them, 120 on the retail. Every time I see the Dunk Miz in black and white, it was always that canvas colorway. It's the first time seeing the all leather one. Not bad, bro. You guys got the highs and the mids right there, and I'm sure somewhere in the mall, you can find the lows. Oh, so we got the Dunk Low Panda, the Dunk Medium, Mid Panda, and the Dunk High Panda. Keep ripping, stop slipping. Still for retail at 160 on this Air Max One. Three dope colorways of the Air Max Ones, which we definitely talked about before. All of them still full retail. Air Max 90, normally 130 down to 89 bucks on the retail for these. Both of these colorways are pretty dope. We've seen this one before. I feel like this might be a newer colorway of these Air Max 90s. Still full 130 on the retail. Both of those colorways are solid though. 125 on these. Still full retail on this Hirachi. Haven't seen this in too many locations, especially this color combination for sure. What do you guys think about these? These must be something new on the market. Let me know if you guys will pick these up or not. Yeah, this is definitely one of the best colorways of Vapor Max 23 so far. Remind me of some other Air Maxes that came out before. This is definitely pretty solid. Still a full retailer, 210. I really like the colorway on this Vapor Max 23 as well. Solid triple black or black with the hints of white on this Air Max 97. Still full retailer, 169. We haven't seen these at too many locations. Definitely one of the newer colorways or renditions of the Air Max 97 with the gold accents. And of course, they got that 3M around the collar, which you can definitely never go wrong with right there. Red, black, and white colorway, or red, black, with the 3M on this Air Max 97 as well. Also here for full retail price. Nike KD 16s, Zoom Freak 5, Zoom Freak 4 for 59 bucks. But we got a new colorway that I've seen only in grade school, so they have them in men's size as well. Saw this at JD Sports in Northridge on the grade school side. Was wondering if they come in men's sizes as well, and they do. Let me know if you guys like this colorway on this Zoom Freak 5. Definitely a solid colorway for sure. LeBron 21s, LeBron Next Gens. Now, before we get into the LeBron selection here at Chic Sports, I want to let you guys know that I do have a full detail review plus on feet of the LeBron 21 Concaillon, one of the best colorways of the LeBron 21s. If you haven't seen it, make sure you guys check it out. Let's get back to the video. Pretty nice selection here when it comes to LeBron sneakers. Shout out to the people asking me about these. More likely at Shoe Palace, they've been on sale for 99 bucks. They're still full retail here. Definitely a good colorway. 200 on the retail. But this is the newly released. This is the one a lot of people want. Nike LeBron next gen first game. Representing his first game in the NBA. 10-29, 2003 as you guys can see right there. Definitely dope details. These have the leather upper with the double swooshes. You don't see this on any of the other LeBron next gen. You got the uh, leather, then you got the netting right here too. At some point, we're going to talk about these 169 on the retail. So let me know what you guys think about the LeBron Next Gen first game. Is this the best colorway that came out so far? I would say so. I like the nostalgia feel and how they're giving it more of a PE feel to this shoe. 
Let me know if you guys are gonna pick these up or wait for them to maybe go on sale. I don't know, I think people really want these, so I don't know if they will go on sale. I think you might scoop this one up for sure. But let me know your thoughts about it in the comments below. They got that black and white job one that had no release date, it just showed up. We actually showed these on the channel maybe like a month and a half ago now. Guava Ice, couple colorways of the LeBron Witness 8. LeBron's line is still out here cooking, man. Yeah, still full retail on all three of these, 110 bucks. Then we got the KD16 Bad. This one right here is definitely impressive. 169 on the retail for this. Let me know your thoughts about this. Got the 3M around the uh, whole upper. Not a bad colorway and one of KD's best sneakers for sure. By far one of the best KD16s is the KD16 Bad. The Wanda's also pretty dope along with the Ump Pearl. But what's your favorite colorway of the KD16? One of the newer colorways of the Nike Dunk Low, still full retail at 115. I showed this to you guys in another video. Let me know if you guys like these or not. JD Sports right here, one of the newer open JD Sports in this mall. Let's go ahead and dive in and see what's up. As you walk in, you can see they have three great releases. These Jordan 3s are definitely slept on, maybe just the time of the year, but the colorway is definitely dope. Hopefully we find these with a sales tag pretty soon. We have seen these with a sales tag. I just don't remember remember the store offhand, but let me know what you guys think about the Winterize 8s. Jordan 4 Olive Craft. Some people love them, some people hate them. Let me know what you guys think about them. Running section for women. Now look at these, man. This is actually the first time seeing this colorway and it's already on sale for 95 bucks. You definitely can't go wrong with that. Let me know what you guys think about this colorway. Normally 210 down to 95 bucks. That's a steal right there, bro. What the hell? These are clean right here, the pink colorway for the ladies. 210 on the retail for these. Not quite sure if I've seen this colorway. White sale with the uh, gray little hint on there too. Still 210 on the retail for these. Not to duplicate too much inventory, but they got some of the same Air Maxes that we've seen in other places. And I don't know if you guys caught one of my recent videos, but they had these for 35 bucks at Roth right now, bro. They still have them here full retail for 160. So just keep that in mind. Always good to see a classic Air Max 97 on sale. Normally 175 down to 50 bucks right now. That is dope. Jordans and Jordan Retros here. We do have a couple that are on sale, but I'm not sure if you guys are really interested. Like these Jordan Mids were not bad with some good quality. Much different from what we normally see when it comes to Jordan Mids. Normally 130 down to 70 bucks. Isn't this like the Palomino colorway? UNC colorway is also pretty dope too. And we've talked about these a couple times. We have talked about these a couple times on the channel. People do like these. I've only seen them in grade school until this point. 135 on the retail, definitely a fire colorway with some good materials on this Jordan 1 mid. Of course, we got the Royal Reimagines here, still full retail. Well, let's double check that. Yeah, still full retail at 180 on those. Then we got the Jordan 1 Mauve, size seven and a half, all the way up to size 12 available which is dope. So they're on sale and they have a good size run left in case you guys are looking for a pair of these. Retro section is just on point here. Four Crabs, the Georgetown Fives, the Fear Threes, the Wheat Thirteens, Jordan Six Aquas. They got the Seven Chamrays. And there's no sales tag on it, but they are retailing for 160 bucks as opposed to 210 or $200. So they are on sale as well. Truly one of the best colorways of the Jordan 11 Comfort Low. 120 on the retail for these not on sale we've seen them on sale at other places but not here now we just seen these not too long ago at chic in the culver city mall like we are now for 99 bucks they got them here for 90 bucks size 8 through 13 they will go down cheaper so if you want them have a little patience you can get them for even cheaper than that this might be the cheapest i've seen them 70 bucks on the retail for the jordan stadium 90 definitely not bad so this is why it's good to have patience because you go to different stores, you find out for different prices. These are on sale for 90 bucks here. If you have a little patience, wait a couple weeks, they might go down to like 75 bucks. But let me know what you guys think about the Luca 2 Safari. Good size run on the Jordan 4 Craft, still full retail of 210. And they got these Tatums here for 100 bucks as opposed to 120. I think only JD Sports has these marked down. Very solid colorway on these. What do you guys think about the Jordan Tatum ones overall? $75 for those here. Jaw One Halloween. Not on sale yet, still full retail at $130. Immortality 3s, down to 40 bucks on those. $85 on this LeBron NXXT. Definitely a solid colorway. And already down to 85 bucks from $160. First KD16 colorway, still at that $120 price point. These should drop down pretty soon as well. 
they don't have a sales tag on these but these are on sale normally 200 bucks down to 160 can't go wrong with these at all let me know what you guys think about the first colorway of the lebron 21. this is the first location i've seen the lebron 21s marked down 170 as opposed to 210 hopefully we can find these for a little cheaper at like 80 bucks like we've seen those other colorways but let me know what you guys think about the lebron 21. Now they do have these on sale, not as cheap as we've seen them at Shoe Palace, but they do got these on sale for 170 bucks. I believe this might be the cheapest I've seen them so far. 160, definitely a solid colorway. Look at that color combination, man. These are definitely fire. Size nine through 13 available on these. Still full retail on these though. Colorway's not bad. I think that's like that uh, pine green also, or maybe lucky green, 130 on the retail. This might be a new colorway. Actually, it's not a new colorway. You get so confused with all the colorways of the Air Max 90s. They have a million and one. These are down to 80 bucks as opposed to 130. 160 on the Air Max 90 for these. Let me know what you guys think about these in the comments below. Pretty good colorway and material on them as well. 120 as opposed to 140 on these Air Max 90s. Solid new colorway on the campus. You got the campus material. You got the suede on there too. Look very, very comfortable. Still for retail at the $110 price point. $100 on the Adidas Form Low Grinch colorway. Good materials on these. Still full size run as you guys can see. These Vapor Max Pluses, talked about them before, very solid $210, still full retail. But this colorway is definitely nice. Now this gray colorway kind of stands out to me too. It's slightly different from this gray colorway. One's a little lighter with a gray swoosh. The other one's a little darker with the like a dark gray swoosh. Not too bad. And still one of the best colorways of the Vapor Max 23 in my opinion. They do have these on sale no. for 100 bucks, normally 210, size seven and a half through 12 available on these. Red colorway is also pretty solid, still full retail. Definitely a solid colorway on that Vapor Max 23. These are dope. I like this color combination on here, 175. These should go on sale pretty soon. Putting some white laces in here will make these pop as well. Maybe even some light blue laces to go with the accent on the back heel of the shoe. These with white laces would go really fire though. These with some white laces would look fire. 95 bucks on these, size 10 through 14. Normally 135 on these. No lace swapping needed. These are fine as is, but $95 is a good price point. These Air Max 90s down to 70 bucks. Got the nice color combination with materials too. Normally 135 on these. Air Max 90s, man, it's hard to mess up the shoe, bro. Having said that, I'm not really a fan of this color combination, even though it is black, white, and gray. Something about it just drops it off to me. I'm not really a fan of these. We got this JD exclusive Air Max 95 with the gold shiny and like the silver kind of shiny right there. Still full retail at 175, but these are pretty clean. Let me know what you guys think about these in the comments below. Tell me what you guys think about these Air Max 95. I'm definitely pretty solid on these as well. Not a bad selection here at JD Sports overall though. And give me your thoughts on this Jaw 1. Scratch, I call it like the reverse scratch even though it don't have the same colorway as a scratch. I call it that because of the outsole. Still for retail at 120. Some pretty solid colorway so far, but I'm not really feeling this one as much. But I do like it because it's not out everywhere. Speaking of really dope basketball shoes, make sure you check out my detailed sneaker review of the Adidas AE1. Anthony Edwards first signature shoe with Adidas a lot of dope tech on this shoe very good feel Let me know if you guys are excited or if you own these without further ado Let's go ahead and jump into Adidas. Let's check out the happiest place on earth Foot Locker in the Culver City Mall walking in look at this unique colorway on the dunk low Let's go check these out. Here is a little closer look at them For the ladies these are women's exclusive dunks 120 on the retail both of those dunk colorways are pretty solid as far as Jordans and basketball shoes for the women, nothing that we haven't seen. Air Max Plus, we've seen this red and black colorway. Let me know if you guys like it. Their House of Hoops section, let's go ahead and see what the basketball shoes and Jordan Retro selection is like. Same things that we've seen at most spots here. Dunk Lows, Nike Jump 2, Nike Hustle 2. We also have the Air Max Penny 1s. Seen these before. They're still full retail at 180. If you go to some JD locations, you might find them for like 80 bucks. The Nike basketball selection here has definitely, looks pretty full. These are actually pretty dope, man. I've seen these online. If you guys want to scoop these up, they are available on the product page. Might be the best colorway so far besides the first game colorway. So let me know what you guys think about the LeBron next gen first game. Is this the best colorway that came out so far?
I would say so. I like the nostalgia feel and how they're giving it more of a PE feel to this shoe. But let me know if you guys are going to pick these up or wait for them to maybe go on sale. $170 on the retail for these. Definitely one of the best colorways. Finally, they're starting to show up a little cheaper. 110 on the retail for these is getting closer to a steal, especially if you got discounts. Still 139 on these. We need these to drop as well. Then they got two of the best colorways for the LeBron 21 as we spoke of on before. Oblong Pearl, as well as the Conkylin. Full detail review on this shoe. And which one do you guys like more? Nike Zoom Generations, purple, gray colorway. Both of them still full retail. This purple colorway is just one of a kind, I'm not gonna lie. These 16 bads still full retail at this location with a 3M on there, as you guys can see. Is this KD 16 bad the best colorway for the shoe? Let me know your thoughts about that in the comments below. Two of the best players in the NBA, legendary players, of course, both of them Hall of Famers with some good shoes and both of them have stepped up their shoe game as well. And you guys already know what I think about the LeBron 20 and 21. Definitely save LeBron's basketball sneaker career, <laughs> in my opinion. We've definitely seen all of these shoes before, but this uh, Nebula colorway is by far one of the best for Luka 2 so far. The Jordan Retro selection over here is definitely solid. Let me know what you guys think about the selection over here. Sevens, ones, thirteens, the latest fourteens as well. Good selection of shoes over here at this location. New colorway on the Jordan Legacy. I'm surprised it's still jumping out new colorways of these. Still full retail of 140. Let me know if you guys are a fan of the Legacies. One of the best colorways of this shoe by far. Jordan 7 with these infrareds. Definitely a solid colorway, but still full retail. And if you've been watching my videos, you guys can find these for 99 bucks at a lot of shoe palaces. What are these called besides dope? I don't know what these are called, what nicknames for them. They do have some hats on deck here on sale, which is always good. They got newer era hats here for $4.99. Are you serious? Okay. We're just going to scoop up some of these hats and drop them on the website, BoscoFiddies.com. If you guys are interested, go ahead and uh, scoop these up from your boy. Yeah, we can't pass this up. We about to run with these. Snapbacks too. I'm sure some people out there would like these. Down here, they have some more hats. I don't want to take them all. I'm going to leave some for some other people. But they do have a good selection of hats here. $35 on these. Normally down to $4.99. That is a steal, bro. I do this section over here. Definitely not too bad. Trey Young's, Dame Ace, 49 bucks. But we are running with these. We found some more hats here. Laker hats, these are fitted. Can't ever go wrong with that. And we got the other Laker hats here too, or Dodger hats here too, so let's run those. Not bad. These white ones are actually dirty. I don't even want the hassle for them. So I'm gonna leave the white ones behind because they're just dirty. I don't want to have to clean them also. So we're gonna leave the white ones alone, but we're running with those uh, black Dodger ones. You guys can expect to see this hat on BoscoSGoodies.com if you guys are interested. I got like four available and uh, plus that new KD jersey as well. So we found these for a steal. Big steal at this store right here, Foot Locker in the Culver City Mall. And then look at this right here. They got these Shaq pumps for 60 bucks. Found them at the Burlington not too long ago for Bobby Thrift on that Bobby Thrift channel. Make sure you guys subscribe and check out those videos there too. But they got the Shaq Reebok pumps, normally 180, down to 60 bucks here at Champs in the Culver City Mall, bro. Denver Nugget Iversons, definitely a classic dope colorway here on these. Still full retail at 160 though. Two of the more recent colorways of the Tatum one. We got the cool gray, and I guess this is like a. I want to say tie-dye or safari, more like a tie-dye feel. This is the most recent colorway that I have released. And then the cool grays are the ones before it. Paying homage to the cool gray 11s. By far one of the best colorways of the NBO3. The Dexter's Laboratory. We got a lacing tutorial. Lace swapping to show you guys what the alternate laces look like. Full review on feet. Everything you want to know about this shoe, go ahead and check it out on my channel. Up to 60% off at Adidas. Let's go ahead and check out and see what's inside there. Ultra Boost Light, haven't seen this color right here. Definitely pretty decent, 99 bucks. I was on Sportswear, got the yellow Adidas sweater. Got the gray one with the black here on here too. 24 bucks, what do these normally go for? Let's check it out and see. Normally 55 bucks down to 24 dollars off, that's pretty dope. $100 Gazelles in the green colorway. They got the black suede Gazelle for $100 also. Very dope find here. I've seen this colorway at the campus, 110 on this colorway, very nice. 
I don't know if there's any more discounts on that though. We've seen that one before, 110 on that colorway. They have their back wall also, which is pretty decent here too. Some of the same things we've seen on the aisles also. Like this colorway, not too bad on these. These are, what are these going for now? 129 still, so their price breakdown be different. It don't be too much discounted on the back wall. Like they be retail prices, but they'll have a discount, you know, a discount tag on them, which is cool. But uh, nothing here for flipping, only for scooping for your personal. Form lows over here too. $69 on this NMD R1 for the women. I like that color combination on those, they look pretty decent. These slides are pretty dope here, but they're still $55 on these. They're kind of tripping. I like the colorway, kind of reminds me of USC or Arizona State. Some more slides over here too. Don't believe I've seen this colorway on the Ultra Boost. Pretty dope. I guess still full retail because there's no markdown tag on them. Got some of these uh, Love Peace selections here. Not too bad. Eighty-nine bucks. So we got some markdown. Ultra Boost Twenty-One. That colorway is not too bad. Looks like they got some good leather quality on here. Black and white colorway on the Ultra Boost Light, 99 bucks. Got the Ultra Boost Golf on clearance. Never knew, never recall seeing these previously. That colorway is dope though, 59 bucks. I mean, you could still wear these regularly, unlike some of the Nike Golf shoes. Ultra Boost Light in this colorway down at 99 bucks, 99.98. That's Stella McCartney's 280. Crazy, 50% off on these though. So the, the orange tickets are final price and the green tickets are 40 off. So that's good. They do have some things here, 40% off, which is even cheaper than Nike, which is what, 30% off the back wall. So they do have some things here that you guys can go through and look through for yourself. If you see something you like, go ahead and shout it out in the comments below. All last minute shoes or last sizes available for these shoes. Ultra Boost 21 or Ultra Boost Light in the white colorway. Trey Young 2's for 69 bucks. We're not surprised about that at all. With a pretty good size run available for the shoe. Then they got the uh, Dame Certifieds for 34 bucks on that. Dame 8's for $59. Pretty good size run on those available too. One of the better colorways of the Dame Certifieds, $79 on these. These were here last time. The Adidas Crazy 1, the Kobe shoe, 150, but you take 50% off of that, bro. So they do got a good Adidas shoe here, bro. Very classic shoe as well. Some of these, some people call these the Banana Kobe's, the Kobe Crazy 1, the yellow colorway, 150, but you take 50% off of these. Definitely a steal. Let me know if you guys are a fan of this shoe or was this one of his worst shoes ever made. Give me your thoughts and opinions about this one in the comments below. I still think it's a classic shoe. I don't own this colorway, but it definitely is one of the better colorways of the crazy ones. We also got the uh, Dame Certified. There's actually a new model coming out, but this one here, this Royal, what's this like? Uh, Royal, yeah, Royal Blue, White and Black for 79 bucks. There is no extra discount, but these are on clearance here. What do you guys think about this colorway? Not mad at the dang certifies. I like the fact that he has a signature shoe and a budget model, but what do you guys think about the certifies? 54 bucks on the Alpha Boost. Pretty clean colorway right there. Colorway I haven't seen before, still 120, but you take 20% or you take 50% off of that, my bad. 99 bucks on the Ultra Boost 1.0. Another pretty dope colorway at the 1.0 down at $99 as well. Ultra Boost 1.0, these are priced at one at 200 but 50% off on these. We got some triple blacks down at 99 bucks as well. Definitely a solid colorway, triple black Ultra Boost. Just 99 bucks on this colorway as well with the triple blacks in the back of it. That's definitely clean too. Ultra Boost DNA Title One, 99 bucks on this colorway. I like the material. I like the little stitching around the toe box area. Color combination on these is definitely not bad. Let me know what you guys think about these. 99 bucks on this 1.0. Colorful outsole. Not a bad colorway. People shopping, getting their 
holiday shopping in or New Year shopping in. A lot of different options here at Adidas, depending on what you guys are looking for. Plenty of sales going on. Let's go ahead and see what's in JD Sports. Sales tags everywhere. The store is pretty much dead compared to what it was like just a month ago. But let's go ahead and see if there's anything good on sale or some new colorways. So they definitely have their share of sales here already. So 210 normally down to 180 on this Baby Max Plus. This red colorway is pretty dope. One of the best colorways of the Baby Max Plus. 180. I feel like it should definitely be marked down more, but this is definitely one of my favorite ones out of all the colorways I've seen so far. 170 on these. Let me know if you guys are a fan of the Baby Max 23. 175 down to 155 on this Air Max 95. So 155 as opposed to 175. Finally, seeing this one go down and sell is dope. This is definitely one of the better colorways. 155 on the Air Max 97s. 115 on those. This 270 is pretty clean. Let me know if you guys are a fan of these or not. Still full retail at 160. All white upper with the black midsole and Air Max bubble. $175 on the retail for these. This one's also pretty solid as well. Got a new colorway. Or maybe we've seen this before. The yellow, black with the gray. Gum outsole, 130 on the retail for these. We finally got some more on running on sale. Normally 150 down to 120. This colorway is down to 120. A lot of different options here for the new balances and a lot of them are on sale. 110 as opposed to 150 on this 2002R. Very solid colorway right here. This 1906 is down to 140 from 155. Very solid colorway on this one as well. 550 is down to 65 bucks. Normally 120 bucks. 100 on these as well. A lot of sales still here after the holidays. We were just talking about these with one of the people that work here. And the Dracula Air Max 1. Very clean colorway. I like the materials on these. If you watch my video, we've seen these like a month or two months ago in certain locations. 150 on the retail. A lot of locations are having these on sale for like 99 bucks, but here they're still 100. This 2002R, 140 on the retail. Very solid and clean colorway right here too as well. We have this black with the gray on here too. I think there's some 3M around that end. Still full retail on these, very clean. Then we got this 9060 new style colorway we have seen before. Retail is 150 bucks. Then we got this one for 140 bucks. That gray upper is very clean. Still full retail on these. 1906R, multiple colorways of this shoe. First time actually seeing this burgundy colorway. We got a newer colorway on these Cortezes, and then we got the Miami theme right here too. Both of these guys still $90 on the retail. No sales tag, but these are on sale for $160 as opposed to $180. Solid Air Force One, normally $135 down to $115, which makes more of a sense for the price. $95 as opposed to $115 on these. Normally $140 down to $80. Full size run available on this green colorway. One of the newer styles also marked down $125 as opposed to $155. We got blazers here, 85 bucks. These other blazers are only $65, normally 105. Give me your thoughts on this rendition of the Air Jordan Mid, Copper Pass. And as I mentioned, I do like the materials on this Jordan 1 Mid. Let me know if you guys like these or not. Newer colorway on this Dunk Low, almost gives me an SB Jordan 4 vibe. Still full retail, 125. You can find these at your local resale shop for 275 bucks. They only have them here for 115. Of course, not surprised, they do have pandas here. So we have these, the white and blue ones. I like this color combination. Shoes are different prices at different locations, man. We've seen these all over the place for 99 bucks. Shoe Palace has them for 150. Finally dropping the prices on the Jordan MVPs. Normally 165, down to 145. Heard a report that these Jordan Fusion shoes made Nike or Jordan brand over a billion dollars last year. Crazy to see that. $90 as opposed to $130 with a full size run on the Luca 2 Safari. Seen this colorway last time. Materials on these are definitely not bad on this comfort low. $95 bucks as opposed to $130. In Mortality 3 is down to $50 bucks now, which is actually good. I do like this colorway here too, down to $50 bucks from $90. Finally, another location got the Tatum ones down to a hundred bucks on the retail. Different stores, different prices. These LeBron 21s down to 170. 
finally we get a chance to see these marked down. 150 as opposed to 180 on this more up tempo. This one down to 65 bucks. Very dope colorway on this one. And this is on sale for 80 bucks. The Laker colorway. At one point these were marked down to 150. Now they have them down to 120 on the Air Max Penny 2. And they have the most recent colorway for the Crazy 8 down to only 90 bucks as opposed to 140. Nike Jaw 1 Chinese New Year officially released January 22nd. We got a full detailed review on these. Let me know if you guys are a fan of this colorway or is it past. Big shout out to the Philippines. These are dropping down to 75 bucks as opposed to 145. I do like this color combination on this one. I'm definitely a fan of this colorway, only on the women's side. That tone of gray is definitely dope. 115 on the retail for these. This purple colorway is down to 170 as opposed to 200. Then we got the LeBron Next Gens down to 110 from 170. Air Max 95s down to 125 on those, which is dope. Their reduced section has pretty much been wiped out, which is always a good thing to see. Finally, this colorway is marked down. Normally 210 down to 110. And one of the better colorways of the Air Max 90s down to 100 as opposed to 130. And from what I'm seeing, most locations only have the Michigan Dunks in gray school sizing. The men's probably were wiped out. Different colorway for the gray school on the 9060, New Balances. Retail on these is 110 bucks. These definitely give off a Valentine's Day vibe as well. On the campus, $110 on the retail. These Air Max 90s are solid too on the women's side, giving off that Valentine's Day vibe also. $130 on the retail for these. Pretty decent selection here at JD Sports in the Glendale Galleria. So give me your thoughts and opinions about what you guys saw there. There were some markdowns, different prices at different locations, but it was overall a pretty good experience. Let me know if there's something there that you guys will grab. New Balances, Nikes. Let's go inside Champ Sports and see what's in there. Briefly stopped by Champ Sports to see what they had here. Puma selection, pretty solid. Still got Cherries, Fear 3s, and Jordan 1 Reimagines. And this location does have the most recent colorway of the Tatum 1. Definitely a dope shoe and a good colorway. One of the best colorways of LeBron Next Gen. Hard to find these also. They have them here for 110 as opposed to like 165. And both of those are down to 129. One of the best colorways of the Gilzell Resta Mod, the Undercrown colorway, down to 49 bucks. Normally 140, down to 49 bucks is actually a steal. Trey Young tubes down to 39 bucks. Pretty much the same price you can find them at Burlington or Ross. Nice colorway on the Jordan MVPs. Let me know if you guys like these or not. Solid colorway though. Now these are actually pretty solid. Air Max 97, the denim colorway, normally 180 down to 49 bucks on these, bro. That's actually a good steal. No, normally 185 down to 50 bucks. 70% off section here. Normally 100, take $70 off of that, 70% off of that actually. Pretty good selection here, but a lot of these shirts are like champion shirts. Some Nike shirts here, as you can see. What's the retail on this one though? 75 bucks, so you take 70% off of that. Pretty solid. Other than that, we got like a Clipper shirt, some Nike shorts, normally 60 bucks. They got more of them over here too. Pretty solid colorways over here, I'm not gonna lie to you. And 70% off, you just can't go wrong with that. Niggas can't bite my style, but they have been nibbling. Niggas can't write this good, but they have been scribbling. Next up, let's go and see what's inside Shoe Palace. Location always has a good selection, let's see what's inside. Do got these. Definitely a classic retro OG colorway, man. One of the best Barkley colorways out there. I feel like these might go on sale, though. I definitely feel like I need to add these to my collection. I have two in my collection. This one right here might complete the collection, bro. Stadium Green Air Max 1s, 99 bucks. The official lowest price we've seen so far for this shoe. Let me know if you guys like these or not. Tell me what you guys think about this Vomero 5. This is definitely a clean colorway and a lot of colorways out there are fire. This color right here, for sure. So far, the Nike outlets have these for 99 bucks. That might be the cheapest we've seen them. 139 on this LeBron 20. Some J Sports have these for 80 bucks. They still have them here full 180. Definitely a clean colorway on the Air Max Penny. Most locations run out of these KDs, man. The KD3 All-Stars are actually Christmas colorway. 129 on the retail. Very classic OG shoe, Air Max Penny 2. The Royal colorway still for retail at 200. Pretty decent basketball selection, but look what we have here. One of the newest colorways of the LeBron 21, 210 bucks. It would be really dope if this also glow in the dark, but I don't think it does. This one is fire. I think these are actually put out much earlier. I think these come out actually in February. Haven't seen these before. Let me know if you guys are a fan of these. Different type of material. That suede is definitely fire. 
good that the cap them at 200 and not 210. But let me know what you guys think about the LeBron 21s overall. This selection here is always pretty solid. A lot of red tags as well. That nice kiss collab on the up tempo, 49 bucks on these. One of the best colorways of the Trey Young 3, down to 49 bucks. We scooped these up last time we were here. I got a full detailed review on this as well as on my channel. And this colorway down to 49 bucks as well on the Trey Young 3, very solid. Different type of materials on these gazelles, 79 bucks. If you see me on the phone, it's about some money, bitch. Nothing that we haven't seen at any other location, but they do have a good selection here of retros. And as I mentioned before, these are down to 99 bucks only at Shoe Palace. Everybody else has them for like 150, 155, 139, 99 bucks at Shoe Palace. They still have a pretty good size run of the Royal Reimagines. Very solid Fear 3s, but of course, better to find these on sale. Green Beans, Green Bean 5, still available. Still full retail though, been out a long time. They should drop these down at some point. Now, I'm not gonna lie, man. This 9060 is fire. 150 on the retail. That yellow, black with the hints of the red. Is there some 3 on here? So we came out subtle with the Ultimate Warrior tee that we bought for $9 from Shoe Palace. Villanova hat. UNC toes or UNC Jordan 1s. No sales tag on these, but these are marked down to $139. Probably the cheapest we've seen them for sure. Hands are pretty dope. 75 bucks in the retail. That University Blue definitely hits a little different on these. Women's section always on point here. I think we got some things that might be interesting. Definitely dope. 99 bucks on this Jordan 2 right here. Definitely one of the better colorways of the Jordan 2 that dropped in 2023. The Moav colorway is also down to 99 bucks. This is definitely a solid colorway too. Not sure which one I like more. Actually, I think I like the gray one a little bit more than these, but let me know what you guys think. Finally, seeing these on sale is definitely a great sight to see. Jordan 6 Gore-Tex, unfortunately women's exclusive. Down to 159 as opposed to what, 210 or 200? So it's good to see these guys on sale. Dornbecker Cortez, 99 bucks on these. See, so many different spots, got them different prices. 79 bucks for this Air Max, Air Max One. Have yet to see this colorway for the woman, of course. $74 on the retail. But let me know what you guys think about the selection here. We do have some retros on sale, which is always a good thing. As you guys know, the grade school section is always on point. This location has some really dope shoes for grade school as well. They still got these on deck, which is crazy because these came out maybe like two years ago, if I'm not mistaken. Only grade school sizing available, 139 on the retail. Selection here is always on point. You got the corduroy, Dodger hat, snapback, 29 bucks on those. Shout out to Mexico, Daytona 500. We got some Raiders hats in here as well. Let me know which team you guys rock with in football and if you guys made the playoffs or not. Definitely like this colorway on the Dodgers hat. I thought it was a Rams hat, but I did see the LA. Definitely cool with the patch on the side. Let me know what you guys think about these. Trainer one for 39 bucks. Big size right here, size 13 in hand. No sales tag, but these are still 49 bucks. Very clean shoe with good materials for sure. So y'all know I'm wanting these, but what's the price on them still? 200 bucks, can we get these guys down? Can we get them to like 99 bucks, 89 bucks, something like that? One of the best colorways of the Vapor Max Plus is super fire. Yeah, these officially released on the 22nd or 21st of January. We are now at the 9th, so these are out like about a week or two weeks early. Always dope to see that, bro. So the Shoe Palace selection here was actually not too bad, man. We see those LeBrons that don't come out for like another week and a half. They did have those Barclays there, which you haven't seen in any store so far. JD Sports Champ didn't have them. We got Shoe Palace, or no, excuse me, we got Foot Locker and Dick's Sporting Goods to check out next, but I'm pretty sure those shoe stores won't have these. Maybe, maybe not. Stay tuned to see. If you like what you see in the video, hit the like button. Make sure you guys visit my website, boscosgoodies.com. A lot of new items have been uploaded, and the prices are cheap, you dig? So we're back again at the Shoe Palace, not just for me, but for a channel member. This is the location that had the Le LeBron and Palmers here on deck. It's one of the locations that still has the LeBron 21 on sale for 99 bucks. In case you guys are still looking for them. And they also have these out early too. Definitely a dope colorway, the algae colorway. Just to show you some of the other things they had here. 169 on the Vegeta Tans. 99 bucks on those. 99 bucks on the Varsity Red 
Jordan Winlow OG. And this was the location that still had a few pair of the Skylines left and they're marked down to 99 bucks, which is a really good price for these. But when will we see those go on sale? One of my previous videos, we definitely came across these. OG Boots normally go for like 200. They had them in for 49 bucks, which is a very much, very much so a steal. And uh, somebody seen it in the video and asked me to come and get this, one of my channel members. So that's what we're gonna scoop it up for you, dude. So yeah, we're back again, of course, here at Shoe Palace in Burbank. We came back for a channel member. I already showed you what we came here for, but let me show you guys again. This black and white colorway. Found these black and white colorway of this uh, Adidas right here. Definitely not too bad. Let me know what you guys think about these. If you guys are interested in finding some shoes that you guys see in my video, make sure you guys join my channel membership, either on the membership for YouTube or link in the description box below guys want to see things or grab things that you guys see that I find for retail. Let's go ahead and check out Skechers once again because I did get some good feedback. Yeah, last time we talked about these, people did say they liked them and I just want to know which one you guys like more. Julius Randall All-Star Ford. <laughs> Got a few colorways. All of these retail for 150 bucks. Let me know if you guys are a fan of these and which one do you guys like the most. All of them retailing for 150 bucks. They got Goodyear rubber outsole, so they should be definitely good on the court. This one right here is not too bad either. Let me know what you guys think about these. Goodyear right there as well. 150 on the retail. Don't know if we saw this colorway last time there. I might have to grab one of these to do a retail or a review on these to see what's really good with them, how they feel on court. Don't seem like they got a lot of cushion on the midsole, but an NBA player hoops in them, so maybe they might. Solid colorway so far, pretty simple and plain, not too outlandish. Let me know of these four colorways of this uh, Skechers basketball shoe, which one do you guys like the most? Now this location still has some of the red cements, which is definitely a clean shoe, size 11 and a half, and they do have the Fear 3s here as well. So as you guys can see, Dick Sporting Goods, they do have the Conkylin LeBron 21. Everything else is pretty much some things that we have seen. We have not seen these at Dick Sporting Goods. I'm curious to see if this is a return or do they officially have sizes of the Halloween colorway. And we do have the Ja Morant Guava Ice now 25% off, making these only 119. So as you guys can see, the selection here is pretty much the same that we've seen in other stores. Let's go ahead and jump over to the Northwest location and see what they got there. So now we're here at Dick Sporting Goods to see what they got here. Dick Sporting Goods in the Northwest Mall. One thing that we saw the last time we were here that we haven't seen at most spots is this Don Issue 5. This is truly one of the best colorways of the Don Issue 5, only retailing for 120 bucks. I'm pretty sure that if you wait, have a little patience, you guys can find these even a little cheaper than that, but it remains to be seen. Have not found these at any Foot Lockers or Champs or Shoe Palaces or even JD Sports, but at Dick Sporting Goods and Adidas, you guys can find these, so hopefully you can get the size you want and maybe they'll go on sale pretty soon. So this location also has the Job One Chinese New Year, one of the best colorways of the Job One so far. These officially come out January 22nd, so stores are starting to roll these out a little early, retailing for 140 bucks. Let me know what you guys think about this Job One, and what's your favorite colorway that has released so far? Is it this one? also have these Trey Young 3s, which is one of the best colorways of the Trey Young 3. What's crazy is I was able to find these for still at 49 bucks at Shoe Palace. Now look at this colorway of the Trey Young 3. By far one of the best. 50 bucks? Is that real? Fifty bucks on the Trey Young 3, that is wild. They got them here still for retail for 139. That's why it's always good to go to most of the spots to find the best price. But let me know what you guys think about this colorway of the Trey Young 3. They also got this colorway of the Don Issue 5, which is also pretty solid. I've only seen these at the Adidas store in Glendale Mall. But of these two colorways, which one are you guys going with more? Both of them are very solid. They both retail for 120. I'm definitely leaning more towards this blue colorway over this orange red one. But this is by far one of Don Issues or Donovan Mitchell's best signature shoes. Let me know if you guys agree with that. Most of them I can say have been duds, but the five is definitely fire. 
And Dick's Sporting Goods is one of the best spots to find your team basketball colorways, especially colorways that you won't see in any other store. I haven't seen this colorway for the KD-16, white with the black trim, pretty solid colorway. Let me know what you guys think about this KD-16 team colorway, all white with black trimming, definitely solid, still full retail on these, of course. So after checking out this selection here for the basketball shoes, let me know what you guys feel like is the best colorway. By far, a really good selection. So now we're in JD Northridge. Let's go dive in and see what the selection like is here at this store. They always have a pretty good selection here as well. Crazy, man. 170, just like at Lindell. 135 on those still. Good selection of basketball shoes here. Once again, a shoe that we haven't seen at most stores is this colorway of the Jaw 1. And, and these are starting to disappear slowly but surely. Jordan 11 Gratitude, it's definitely a fire colorway. Only here at JD Sports out of all the stores we went to today. This Royal Blue Campus colorway is definitely fire. 110 on the retail for these with a the gum also, definitely solid. A new colorway on a Nike Dunk Low for women, $115 on the retail for these. And we also got the red and white colorway, which is pretty solid, $115 on the retail for these. And this is also one of the only locations that have the Miami colorway on a Nike Dunk Low here at JD Sports Northridge. This location is also different because they got the Moav colorway for 130 on sale with a full size run, 8 through 13. So this is that location that had those pennies for 80 bucks and they are now gone. I know two people who told me they came here and grabbed up a pair. Shout out to you guys. That's part of the reason why we're here, you dig? And not many locations have this Air Force One, the Valentine's Day colorway, early. Now this is the all-star colorway for the Cosmic Unity 3, and we have not seen them in men's sizes anywhere, only grade school. And right behind it, they got the John Morant Chinese New Year as well. So we got a new colorway of the more up-tempo slide, still $85 on the retail. What do you guys think about this colorway? This Air Force One representing the Houston Comets is now on sale, down to 95 bucks from 110 with a full-size run available. So from Glendale to Northridge, let me know what you guys think about the selection of shoes, the markdowns, and just the overall vibe of the store. What's good, YouTube? Your boy Bosco back again with another video here in the city of Topanga, or Canoga Park, actually, at the Topanga Mall. Really, really big mall. A lot of stores in here to check out. If you like something in the video, make sure you comment down below. Share this video so more people can see my content. And make sure you guys join my Discord if you're not doing so, Energy810. Link to that is in the description box below. Also visit my website, BoscoCities.com. A lot of good items on there for the low. Make sure you guys come correct on there. We had one or two people trying to scam me, but I pay attention to everything. So don't try it. No, but we about to go check out JD Sports. Let's go ahead and check out JD Sports Topanga. First time seeing these in men's sizes. Usually we find these in grade school sizing and toddler sizing. 115 on the retail. Let me know what you guys think about this. Definitely give me Steelers vibes. And I guess this is the low top to that mid right there. Second time we've seen the bigger size of this mid. I like this colorway right here. Retail on these is $135, so the price is even going up on mids. But this colorway and this material is pretty dope, though. I see why. Moave colorway is pretty much $130 at most locations. Some still have them at $150, but uh, most JD Sports got them at $130. Wheat colorway still for retail. We definitely need these to drop a little bit. But on this side, they do have some retros. They still got Cardinal 7s down to 170. So these are discounted, but 170. I mean, they should be a little bit lower than that, but it is what it is. Very much so a slept on retro that released in 2023. These are from Fire Jordan 6s, this aqua colorway. Got the black colorway on this 990. Last time I was at Shoe Palace in one of my recent videos, I had the mix up between taking pictures and pausing it, so I missed some footage of some good shoes. 7.2 R, this colorway is uh, still full retail at 140. The black 2002 R. Different colorway of the 1906, still full retail at 150. And I believe we've seen these before, but let me know if you guys are feeling these or not. A lot of good colorways, and of course the materials are on point. Full size run on this 2002 R, 115 instead of 140. Got the 9060 R, down to 140 from 155. Got 3M all over that upper, as you guys can see. Let me know what you guys think about this New Balance, man. A lot of dope silhouettes out there for the New Balance sneaker. What's really good with this? The 650 is down to 35 bucks as opposed to full retail of 130. Damn, $100 off, damn near. This colorway is pretty interesting also. 2002R, still full retail at 145. Comment down below what you guys feel like is the best New Balance silhouette. 
Air Max 97s, down to 90 bucks on these. Not a bad colorway. We got some 95s on sale for 125, 145. This is like a JD, JD Sports exclusive colorway. And this classic colorway is 155, which is always good. I don't believe we've seen these in some of the recent videos, at least not marked down. 145 as opposed to 175 on this Air Max 90. Excuse me, Air Max 95. I'm a fan of this Air Max 90 SE, still full retail. Would love for this to be on sale, but it is what it is. We have seen these before, but I do like this colorway. Let me know if you guys like this one. And I feel like this colorway keeps getting lower and lower, only 60 bucks. Rate this one from a one to 10. I think this Air Max 90 is definitely fire, only 60 bucks too. Royal Blue is still 140, but I do like this colorway. Man, 60 bucks on that is not bad, dude. What's up with that? So we got two different colorways that are on running. Normally 150 down to 120, and they both still have full size runs. So people haven't really been scooping these up, especially for that 150 price point. But I hear a lot of good things about the on running shoe. Air Max One crepes down to 110 from 160. Really good materials on these. And one of my favorite colorways are the Vapor Max Plus. 110 as opposed to 210, $100 off of that one. And the Sunset colorway is down to $100 as well. Black colorway, 175 as opposed to 210 with a full size run on these. Got the video going on in the background. But let me know what you guys think about the Vapor Max 23. Over here on the reduced section, they got some things you might be interested in. Like we've seen before, 75 bucks. Crazy 8, Kobe shoe, Air Cross Trainer, $70 as opposed to the 135 retail or 125 retail. Stadium Greens, not 99 bucks, but down to 130 on these. Definitely a dope shoe right here. Continuing on the final sales or reduced prices, down to 80 bucks normally was 100. We talked about these before. One of the best colorways of this trainer right here, bro. Let me know what you guys think about these. Flight 89 down to 100 from 115. Very classic shoe right here as well. It says reduced, but it's still retail at 170 unless that's the reduced price. Let me know what you guys think about the Broke Brown or Bork Brown Barclays. More shoes on the reduced. We got the Reebok Pump, classic colorway on these, 80 bucks. Plenty more Adidas available, campuses, gazelles. Let me know what you guys think about this selection here. Ultra Boost is down to 100 from the normal $200 retail price point. They still got these on deck too. The Grinch colorway, the 2023 Grinch colorway on the form low, down to 100 bucks. I like this color combination on these right here. Normally 110, down to 40 bucks. Then we got like a smaller basketball section, not like it usually be, is, but they do have some stuff over here. Conkyla and LeBron 21. Definitely did a full review on this shoe right here. Let me know what you guys think about this colorway. Both of these LeBrons are marked down to 170 like we've seen at the last location. Kind of weird to see that, the, that these Jaw Ones are still full retail at 110 bucks. We got these Solomons down to 95 bucks from 140 bucks. I'm only showing these just to see what people think about them. They got them in a few colorways. Gray school Jaw Moran sections on fire. Two of the recent colorways of the Nike Dunk Low for women, 115 on the retail for both of these. Their Dunk selection is pretty cool. Same things that we've seen in other places. This green colorway, the cucumber colorway, the varsity red, the royal blue, pandas here as well. This location also has the Miami colorway, which I believe these are still put out early. I don't think they come off for like another couple weeks. Then we've seen that at many places there too, with the suede Nike swoosh. Looks like it has some pretty good leather on these. Let me know what you guys think about these in the comment section below. New colorway on this Air Force One. The materials on the upper look really nice, nice leather. A lot of people told me that they like this colorway on this Air Force One. Let me know if you guys like them or are they trash? But I do like this colorway right here. Black, white with the hand of the blue on the tongue, the side of the shoe as well as the pull tab. An Air Force One with a pull tab though is just kind of weird to me. That wheat colorway as well. A very solid shoe colorway, 125 on the retail. So they got Nike Tech on sale, normally 145 to 110. These sweats, normally 125 down to 90 bucks. So 95 bucks for the sweats, 110 for the tops. This tan colorway or brown colorway is not too bad. 95, 110 respectively. Normally 140 down to 100 bucks on this for both colorways, that blue one. And here is the Air Max jacket, which I think is dope. And then these sweats right here are pretty nice too. Normally 95 down to 55. Wow, this bubble jacket goes perfect with the polar blue Dunk Lows. 
Normally 200 down to uh, 140, as you guys can see right there. That's clean. Got a hole for sale rack on the men's and women's side. This location here is built like the Europe locations are. So one side is all clothes and one side is all shoes. Pretty solid selection of stuff here. This blue tone right here on these Jordan sweats are pretty dope. Down to 50 bucks from 78. And Jordan flight tees, 25 bucks. 55 as opposed to 78. More of the women's exclusive stuff. North Face jacket, normally 330. Normally 330 for this, down to 225. And they call that a, a steal? This one's not too bad. Seen that everywhere, down to 125 from 175 on that one. Bunch of things here Nike for the women. I do like that bubble jacket though. I think out of all the stuff I'm seeing here, the thing that caught my eye the most. This jacket right here, by far is the best top I've seen in this store. Let me know if you guys agree with that. I'm definitely gonna look around a little bit and come back because I think I want to grab this. But, but these right here are clean in my opinion. So we chilling out, came across our shoes that we wanted from JD and Shoe Palace. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Wrapping it up from JD Sports. Definitely came across a steal there. Now, unfortunately, I didn't find them in my size 13. The size 13 that I want is all the way out in Culver City, so maybe I'll make a swap. But I will put these up on the website too, boscosgoodies.com. If you guys are interested in the Air Max 90, this colorway is actually fire. Do not sleep on this colorway. They are at your local mall for a heavy discount, especially right after the holiday season. That's when a lot of the really good deals come out. $60 for this colorway is just fire. And if you have any other discounts, you can add it on top of that. This colorway is one of a kind, size nine and a half in hand. This also will be on my website too, boxcoatcreeds.com, if you guys are interested in this. Um, yeah, man, let me know what you guys think about the trip here at the mall. And what do you guys think about this colorway, man? And rate it from a one to 10. I think it's probably like a solid eight and a half. You really can't go wrong with Air Max 90s, man. There's a lot of dope colorways, and they don't really drop the ball too much on the 90s. Sometimes on the 97s and other silhouettes, but the 90s usually come out with some really good shoes, colorways, and really good materials. If you like what you see in the video, hit the like button, share the video, and don't forget to visit my website, BoscoCities.com, you dig?